Hey y'all, this is Nina Stevens, and I'm in the south where sushi is still called bait. So, I'm out here at the garden with Spicy. I have company today. <laughs> hey guys and gals. <laughs> and um, we're talking about the, the green tomato hornworm. Every, about every two or three days, I will come out here and I will find a green tomato hornworm in my garden and I'll pick it off um, and uh, give it to the chickens but me and uh, me and spicy did a video on it so um, I'm gonna join my video with that so you can see um, about the worm and the different things and some little interesting facts um, and uh, so you can look at some of the damage that was done on some of my tomato plants mm. So I come out here to Mama's plant, to Mama's garden, and I was looking at her tomato plants. And first of all, uh, let me show you what I was looking at. All right, so do y'all do y'all see this? I mean, it is almost gone. The limb is, and right here. Now I went inside and I told Mom that uh, something is eating on her tomatoes, and she said it's probably a tomato worm. And I'm like, well, I didn't see nothing. Um, and then we looked it up online and she showed me what it looked like. I've never seen one before. So I come back out here and was looking around and I noticed on the ground, let me show you. See all these little black dots? That's little droppings. And, um, there's some droppings on the leaf here and droppings on the leaf there. So one of the things that it said online was you can, you'll know by the droppings. And sure enough, I went to looking, and I found this little booger. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. Here's the dropping in the bowl. There's a dropping in a bowl. But this is the uh, green horned worm, uh, green horned tomato worm. It's got a little little spike on the back of it but it don't sting or nothing like that and that's what it looks like on the back side of it so they're green so it was hard to find him but I found him and of course I took him off the plant because he was steady eating just munching down on some leaves and he's done a lot of damage so far and what I've read is these things do not this isn't small I mean this is small this ain't big. They get a lot bigger than this. I think we got some more because there's some more leaves that are eight. And we're going to look around and see if we can't find another one. Make sure that this is the only one or if there's another one on there. So let's take a look around right quick. Okay, so we didn't find any more. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, what else did we find out about the, the green tomato worm? Um when I was reading on the um, um, whatever website it was I can't remember do you know that the natural predator of the green tomato worm is the wasp and it said that the <laughs> the wasp will lay their eggs on the back of the tomato hornworm so if you see one that has white larva attached to the back of it that is actually wasp larva so the wasp is the natural predator of the hornworm so if you see that um, they're suggesting and I hate to say it not to kill the wasp <laughs> not to kill the worm with the wasp on it yeah and um, to, to remove it from your garden and take it far away from your garden but I haven't seen any with wasp larva on it. Uh, I find one about every a green tomato hornworm about every other day or so. I'll come out here and find one. So I just figured I'd share that with you, that little did you know segment. Because I didn't know that. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen a green hornworm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've never, I don't even think I've seen them like online. I've never looked them up, had no reason to look them up. But that is... That's the biggest caterpillar I've ever seen. So, yeah. And, and I've seen them larger than that. Um, the one I got off about 
three days ago was longer than that. So, you know, they, they get they get pretty big. <laughs> no, no. Need some salt and pepper? No, we're good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take him and uh throw him out in the woods on the other side of the yard somewhere. Give him to the chickens. Or are we gonna give him to the chickens? See what they do with him. Yep. Just that little short video, um, I didn't know that we even had them down here. I mean, I've heard people talking about them. I've never seen them before. And like I said, I didn't know we we even had them down here. So be on the lookout. If you see that you you got some limbs that's been, eat, been ate up, and I showed you the droppings on the ground, if you see that around your tomato plant, more than likely you got a horn worm in your tomatoes, and you need to get it off because all they do nonstop is eat. Mm -hmm. That's all they do. They eat, and then they you know do the thing turn to a moth after that but it's the brown mottled moth that yeah. they turn into and also it says that um they will they will lay larva in your in your soil so a good thing to do um after your garden is done is make sure that you till up your garden uh that way if you have any larva in your in your uh garden soil you can you know have more chance of squishing that up and uh killing it off so it don't come back next season. I see a tomato that he ate. Look. Here's a tomato that he ate half of. Nom nom nom. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed that little information. Um, old Spicy showing the, the green tomato hornworm. <laughs> and uh, that's it for me and until next time I'll see you later.